In this video, we are going to show you how you can use custom cell formatting in Mail and Deploy. We have prepared some typical use cases based on data from this ClickSense app, the Executive Dashboard. It contains a straight table as well as a pivot table. In fact, one of the pivot tables is in a tabular format and the other one is in an indented format. We are going to use both in our examples. So let's go to Mail and Deploy. We will open the designer and start with some examples. We have carried them together from various projects and different customer use cases. Here is our Word template. We will start with an easy one. On the first page of our template, we will create a new table. We will simply drag and drop the normal table here and it is done. In the export settings, you can see in the insertion mode field of the export settings create new table and for this table, the default cell settings will be applied. On the next page, we have already added a word table. And now we will choose the option right into existing table in the insertion mode field in our export settings. Therefore, we use the following element and put it here. Furthermore, we have to choose insert rows in the existing table insertion field. When you use this option, you always need to add a table to your word template. We will put the borders so you can see the table. The cool thing here is that you can give a predefined table design using the word options. We will use the stripe table design for this one to make it more user friendly and readable. For this case, you do need to know how many columns your final table will have. Then on the next page, we will insert the strip table again, but this time, we will use mail and deploy and its cell formatting options. And on top of that, we want the headers of the table to be bold. First, we do the stripes. We open the cell settings and select the data as we only want to stripe the data. We do not want to strike the headers or the total. Now we go to the styling section and select custom from the drop down. By default, this field is always set to keep original. And then we can open the pencil icon and open the data table cell style mask. As you can see, you can customize everything here, the font, the font style, the text color and so on. In our example, we will set the background, so we go to the background tab. When you are doing background customization you need to choose a pattern. If you don't set this and these stays do not set it will not work. You would not see any colors, so we select here constant and solid. And for the color, we will use an expression. For this, you can use the built-in functions in Mail and Deploy and you can also get the color codes when you click on color. Or you even use your customized color code. Good. And finally, we want the headers to be bold. For this, we need to go once again to the cell settings. Now we select the data top header. And in the styling section, we select yes in the bold field. Good. Let's close the windows and jump to the next page. Here we want to have a table with a highlighted value. Let's check that in our application. In this example, we want to highlight the row with the customer RC in our table. We go back to our Word template in Mail and Deploy. And now, we go to the custom settings. We also select data here as a cell type. And then, we customize the styling and use the text color and expression. With this expression, you have access to the whole table, and you can specify exactly which row and column you want to color. And then mail and deploy goes row by row and if RC shows up, it will be highlighted in orange. Otherwise, it will be white. 
you can insert the expressions and color codes easily by just selecting them from the list here on the right. Of course, you can set RC also as a parameter, and it is also possible to do it without specifying the column. This is helpful, for example, if you have a table with lots of columns. We will get to this in another example in this video. But first, we will insert on the next page a table which just has the first column colored. We want only the first column to be highlighted. Let's take a look at the cell settings for this example. This time we choose from the selector field depending on column number and cell type. We choose one as the column number and check data as a cell type. Then we can go to the customized styling, and in the background tab, we set the pattern to constant and solid and then choose the color. OK. If you do not want to highlight the first column, then you have to adapt the column number accordingly here. OK. On the next page, we will use typical colored cell values. For this example, we only want to color the current year's sales and last year's sales. Again, we will just tick the data as a cell type. In the custom styling, we will use an expression in the text color field. If the cell value is less than zero, it should be painted red, otherwise, it should be green. Again, these are built-in functions you can simply choose from. We will show it again by simply changing the function and the colors. This time, we will say, if the cell value is higher than zero, it should be painted green, otherwise it should be pink. Then we click OK and OK. There are the colored cell values, the most common use case of custom cell formatting. Let's jump now to the pivot table. We just drag and drop the element and will not change anything except merge the columns. Done. You can use the pivot settings and customize your pivot tables. We will do this on the next page. Here, we want to add a pivot table with columns colored according to the year in a parameter. We want to highlight all the rows for the year 2017. We did not set any cell settings here. This is why it applies to all the rows. Let's take a look at the formula in the background tab. We added an expression. This time, we ask for the cell value in a specific row where the parameter 2017 appears. When we take a look at our app with the pivot table, then we see the row that we need is number one. And we ask that mail and deploy test the first row. It will be false for 2015 and 2016. But when it comes to 2017, then it will color gray. It is also possible to have even more than one cell setting. We had this use case in the strip table example. There we set the heather and the stripes. Each setting is taking care of something else. This one is taking care of the stripes on the data rows. And this one is taking care of the heather row. And the default settings will apply to the rest of the table. And now the question, what happens if something doesn't match in a cell setting with the next one? Which one is going to take into account first? Mail and Deploy will handle this from top to bottom. Good. And now, let's run the preview to see our results.
we have various nicely formatted tables in our Word report. And that's it. Thanks for watching.